Tornado crews in Afghanistan have welcomed a new high-tech helmet which has transformed the way they operate in theatre. Designed by BAE Systems for the Typhoon, it's been adapted so it can be put to immediate use on the tornado. Yesterday we saw some of those who design and make it in Rochester. Today, Julie Knox meets some of those who are using it in Helmand. They're hailing it as a quantum leap in capability. The new helmet-mounted queuing system was introduced to help prevent blue-on-blue -blue incidents, so air crews can quickly see who's around them in the sky and what's going on on the ground. A vital extra eye for the troops below. I've used it when we were supporting a ground call sign, and out of the window, out of the cockpit, I managed to see some tracer fire, um, and then very quickly managed to look at it, designate it with my helmet-mounted queuing system, and then the navigator was able to cue the pod up and see there was actually a firefight going on down on the ground. And we saw an Apache involved and also obviously firing at an enemy position. So within seconds, I managed to put in the friendly forces position and also the enemy forces position and relay that to our JTAC and ground call sign. They had nothing like this before and the pilots and their whizzos, navigators, have found it a bit of an adjustment to make in their field of vision. At first, it's quite hard to get used to this. It's not really in your line of sight. Um, but having it up for most of the time puts it out of the way and then just flicking it down when you need it and then the visor itself you get used to having this in, in your vision it just becomes natural to actually look through that and actually see what you're looking at through the sight itself. The same symbology is projected into the lens of their night vision goggles for flights in the hours of darkness too. The GR4 is used in a number of ways out here Full-scale firepower is not always called for. Sometimes a simple buzz is effective enough to deter a possible insurgent. Imagine your surprise if you were out up to no good at four in the morning in the pitch black and without warning a tornado at uh, just a couple of hundred feet would uh, race over your head just under the speed of sound. I think that would might indicate to you that you should stop doing what you're doing. From flying sorties over Libya to deploying to this theatre, number two Army Corporation Squadron may be a hundred years old, but is still proud to be at the pointy end of operations. And advances like this, the boss says, make the job worthwhile. A huge amount of job satisfaction. As many of my crews have already found out in the uh, three short weeks that we've been out here so far, to come home knowing that you've supported those on the ground, to know that potentially you've saved lives, indeed on occasions you know you have saved lives, is a great way to be able to go to work. It's a great way to sleep at night. Julie Knox, Forces News, Kandahar.